Hey everybody, hello, hello. Jessica Coulter here, CEO and founder of Ace Cookie Tutoring. Today we are continuing our summer myths all about review. So let's focus on summer school today. Parents, are you going to have any teens in summer school? I got to tell you myself as a valedictorian in my high school class, I never did summer school, but I have tutored students who do summer school who are planning on taking some classes, whether voluntarily or not. And I'm just curious, parents, if that's the situation you or your kiddos find themselves in. If you want to share, it'd be great to hear. But, uh, you know, let's talk about the study skills that have to do with summer school. Because a lot of people think summer school and regular school or normal school during, you know, August to May, for those of us in the States, that's, you know, they're two different things. But we're going to talk about why they're not as different as you think. So before I get going, I want to invite you to my Facebook group called Teaching Teens Love Learning. If you're not already a member, click the link to join us because there's all sorts of awesome free events upcoming and I want you to be the first to know. So study skills. There's nine of them that I teach. There's nine of them in my program called Love to Learn that all students, middle school, high school, college kiddos need to learn because they're really life skills because once you know how to learn, it's something that's going to stick with you forever and uh, studying is the process of learning. So how can you learn? How can your teens learn if they don't know how to, if they don't know these executive function skills, these study skills? So there's two of them I want to focus on today, organization and time management. Those are two essential skills that your teens need during a summer school and they need during regular school. Because there's a good chance your teen isn't organized and not focused and that's led to summer school. There's also a good chance your teen does not manage his time wisely. Another reason he's in summer school. So why are these important for both types of schooling? Well, it's pretty simple. Teens need to focus through organization. That's how I teach it through my Love to Learn program. I want to give you a little bit of advice today. So your teens, they have to know what they're doing. If they don't know what they're doing, then that means they're not organized. And how can they focus on something to get it done if they don't know what to do? Okay. The reason that summer school it's such a perfect time for your teens to practice this is most of the time in summer school, your teens are not taking the same amount of classes during summer school as they do in regular school during the normal school year. So if your teen only has one class, like I'm thinking of one of my particular students and he's taking biology, first semester biology this summer, and uh, that's all he has to focus on. He doesn't have to focus on math or English or his electives. If all he has to do is, okay, this is the chapter we talked about today. This is my homework assignment today. You know, it's due tomorrow. I have this many questions to do. He can get really, really good at staying focused. He can get really, really good at organizing his workspace, where to keep his biology stuff, to keep his biology notes, okay? And once he gets good at that with one class, imagine how much better he's going to be at six classes or eight classes next fall than if he had never had summer school and never had a chance to practice over the summer with one class. Okay, we'll talk about time management next. Before I do, we are live on Facebook. Usually I'm live on Facebook and YouTube, but YouTube and I were having some troubles. So definitely make sure you're a follower and a subscriber of the East Cookie Tutoring page and channel so you catch these videos live. So let's talk about time management. We know organization. We know focus. All right. Time management. So it's kind of similar. I thought these were really good examples for summer school. And like I said, there's seven other skills we're not going to talk about today, but would love to talk to you about them in my group. So make sure you join us or, you know, even in a conversation, whatever is best for you. So time management. There's a whole bunch of aspects to this. There's the aspect of how much time is summer school going to take? You know, am I in school for two hours? Am I in school for an hour? That's one thing. Another thing, when do I have to get up? How long does it take me to get there? What am I going to do after class? All of these things add together 
to be time. And again, just like with the organization piece, if your teen learns, okay, I only have to make it through two hours of school. In that two hours, I'm going to cover these five things. I'm going to do this for 10 minutes. I'm going to do this for 30 minutes. The teacher's going to talk for this long. I have this much time to work. It's one class, one thing for your teen to focus on for a very set amount of hours. So again, it's so much easier for your teens, especially the ones that are struggling and are in summer school for a reason when it comes to academic things, mental health, totally different situation. But just know, for academic reasons, for executive functioning, do you know teens struggling with time management, let's help them get good at managing their time with a very small responsibility, okay? So we have to figure out, okay, what's the schedule going to look like? What's your routine? What's the habits that you need that all relate to time, okay? And this is an awesome opportunity for your teen to start timing himself, to start creating practice schedules and trying out some new routines to see if they work. Because, yeah, things are going to be a little different in the fall if you've got more than one kid or your kid's riding the bus or your kid's driving himself, you know, all those situations. But the idea of, okay, this is a good day time for me to do homework. This is when I feel most awake. This is when I'm least likely to get the right answers. Those are all things that your teen can start figuring out this summer and then use that newfound kind of information, those new results in real school, in regular school in the fall. So I know I went kind of quickly. No, we just kind of scratched the surface on organization and on time management. I have so much more I want to teach you, teach your teens. The way to do that is to join my Facebook group called Teaching Teens to Love Learning. So click the link in the description, answer a couple questions, and you'll be in. And like I said, when you join the group, you get first-hand knowledge and like you're the first to know of my upcoming events like next week's the Parent Survival Guide to Summer with Teens. So if you want to know more information about upcoming events, upcoming experts that I'll be having, and all the free resources, all the goodies that only group members get, click the link and join us in Teaching Teens to Love Learning. Have a good night. See you tomorrow for the last myth all about summer review. Bye, guys.